On today's episode of Submittal Tank, five highly skilled owners look to some contract the roof on their new building. Let's meet them. Brandon Burbridge. Michael Gauhan. Maddie Wright. Matthew Hortzman. Aaron McGowan. Hello, owners. I'm Brandon Burbage, and I recently started a new startup around here called Burbage Roofing. I saw that you guys need a I saw that you guys need a house on 1016 roof, 1016 Bond Street roofed, and I would like to pitch my my roofing material composite roofing to you. Composite roofing is the most common roofing material in residential homes today as and there's a good reason why is I'm about, I'm about to go into detail uh, it's a very versatile roofing material and this roofing material has many benefits as well. The first one is durability. This roofing material is fire resistant and impact resistant which is very good for a lot of especially in this region a lot of uh, severe weather like tornadoes and just strong winds in general. Um, they tend to be on the cheaper side as well. They can get expensive, but they can also be as cheap as $480 per 100 square feet, which if you know anything about roofing materials, this is pretty, this is pretty cheap. Uh, they can also be very eco-friendly. If they are not made out of recycled materials, then often they are used, often they are recycled after their lifetime use. And the last point I'm trying to make is these roofs la last a long time and also warranty for a very long time. Uh, 30 to 50 years tends to be what the warranty is for these roofs, and that's pretty that's pretty solid around here. Um, uh, I would like to pitch. So for my final pitch, I would like to pitch to 1016 Vine Street. I would offer about twenty-two thousand dollars for this roof. Thank you. Okay, so what is your experience in the roofing industry? Well, to be honest, this will be my first roof working as a new company, but I, I have uh, multiple years of experience, about 15 years of experience working for com uh, separate companies, for my dad, uh, for just various roofing projects. The pictures in your uh, presentation makes me want to not work for you, so I'm out. Brandon, my only problem with your presentation is you. Yeah. I love everything about the composite roof, but just knowing that you're going to be the one putting it together, just I can't, I can't get behind that. So for that reason, I'm out. With this being your first roof in this industry, that concerns me a little bit. So for that reason, I'm out. industry and today I'm here to pitch to you the idea of using a metal roof for your new home renovation at 1016 Vine Street. The metal roofs are becoming more and more popular in the residential construction industry not only because of their great looks but also because of the great benefits they provide. So metal roofs are very very durable and sustainable compared to other roofing materials such as asphalt and tile. Um, they last about 50 years, which is almost double the expectancy of normal asphalt roofs. They're also very energy efficient. The metal provides a great cooling system, so especially if you're in a warmer climate, the air, your air conditioning costs would be lower because they insulate their house and they keep it cooler. And then weather-wise, these roofs are very great because they the metal interlocks, the tiles interlock to each other, each other so with high winds and other um, weather elements, it's really durable. And then also they're very environmentally friendly because after the roof is done being used on a house, it's, they're, able to be, they're able to take it off and then reuse and recycle the roofing material. And then the low weight of the roof helps to preserve the structures that it's on. It's a lot lighter than other roofs such as tile and asphalt and composite roofs and so Price-wise, this is a pretty good roof. It costs about eight to twelve dollars per square foot, and that involve and that includes the installation fees. It's a little pricier than some other roofs up front, but it's definitely worthwhile in the long run because it lasts about double the um, life expectancy as some other roofs. 
All right, this, the, I like the metal material and it seems like it has a lot of pose, um, but when you, how much does it cost? Because I know a lot of good things don't come ch cheap. Um, 410 16 Vine Street, it'll cost about $10,000 and that includes the installation fees. So Maddie, I really like your, uh, your metal roof. Uh, it seems like it's got a lot of pros. Uh, it's a good price. Uh, it lasts 50 years. Um, it's eco-friendly. Low weight, it's low weight. Um, I don't really see a lot of reasons. I think that you know, I'd like to go into business with you. Aaron, let me hold you up a minute before you go all in on this metal roof. So you realize that the Vine Street house we're working on is in the new Chauncey neighborhood, right? Um, so, okay. Okay, yeah. So uh, do you know anything about the restrictions in the oh. new Chauncey? Yep. Exactly. You can't put a metal roof on a house in the neighborhood. The historic prevention? Yep. They'll take care of it and they ain't gonna let that fly. So before you go all in on this metal roof, you need to take a step back. I'm sorry, Maddie. You, you know, uh, he's right. It's actually gonna be a no for me. Yeah. And Maddie, the metal roof, it seems like a good product, but same thing that happened with uh, another one of your competitors. I just don't like you, so for that reason, I'm out. So good morning, owners. Uh, my name is Aaron. I'm here to sell you my roofing material, uh, single ply membrane TPO. Um, it costs less, it has longer life, it's safer to install and maintain, and it uh, overall just looks better. Uh, Aaron, that sounds a little too good to be true. You know what, it sure does. Let's see if this guy's for real. Yeah. So uh, I'll talk about cost first, guys. Um, my my TPO roof would cost right around ten thousand um, dollars. I don't really know like how many other people you talk to, but like that's gotta be like the best price so far, right? Um, I th that might be true. That cost might be true for the material, but you know you have to install it and pay the workers to install the roof. So I would imagine the price would be. Um, more than just that. Oh yeah, labor. Um, anyway, so like longevity of a TPO roof, uh, life expectancy typically of a TPO roof is between 15 and 20 years. And I'm I'm confident no nobody's got me beat on that one, right? Anybody else you guys talk to? Uh, that's funny that you bring that up actually, because I had someone just in my here a second ago and they were telling me that their roof can last 50 years, so that in my 50 20 yeah i think we know which one lasts longer um no well, metal doesn't really count uh so anyways uh my my product i i assure you is the uh, safest to install and maintain out of anybody that you could talk to um because unlike any other roof uh, a tpo roof is uh flat typically and it also has i mean a little bit of slope for drainage right but it's negligible i mean it's nothing that's really going to make somebody fall over and roll off the side. And even if somebody did happen to slip and fall, um, that doesn't really matter, you know? There's a parapet wall. Chances are there's a parapet wall. I mean, I can stop you even, even just a little short parapet wall and you know, you would stop from rolling off the side. Um, it does get slippery when it's wet, I guess a little bit, but you know, get some good boots, put some good traction in the eye. Um, it's also easiest to maintain because because uh, it's easier to access typically. And you know, you know, you can walk on a flat surface better than you can one that's like this. Um, so, uh, you, you know, it's easy to maintain because it's, it's easy to access, like a, like a roof access hatch, but, you know, it's just a simple, quick climb up a ladder and you're all good, walk on a nice flat surface. Um, so I'm sure there's other people that you talk to today are like, cool and all, right? But you, you can't put a price on safety. Well, Aaron, I guess not. And lastly, you know, my material looks better. Let me stop you right there, Aaron. Obviously, you didn't prepare in the slightest amount of time. Uh, do you even know what the West Lafayette Historic Preservation Commission is? Because clearly you didn't look at it. Uh, no, why? Well, the commission is a board of people who protect the area to keep it looking nice from stupid looking roofs like yours. The only roofs that are allowed in the area anyways are composite and asphalt, so I don't even know why you're in here presenting to us today. Did you really think you gonna pull something over on us or are you just that stupid? Like you just do you just go into every situation with a wild guess? 
Quit wasting your time with this guy out of here. I don't want to see you again. of 1016 value sheet. Today I'm here to introduce to you a new type of roof uh, for your current house. Uh, I'm here with Tile Roofing Company um, and we install tile roofs for clients. Um, before I get started, I know those people are going to say we can't have tile roofs in the north, uh, they're only in the south. Um, this is true, but there's two different types of tile roofs, those the south ones that look like this, and the northern ones are made out of concrete, um, and, the and the signals would look like this. Um, these roofs typically last 20 to 30 years, so they outlink most uh, other roof materials in the longevity. Um, they are very, they're really durable because of the high because of the way that they're made and the high heat that they're exposed to. Um, so, so, so the combination of that and the alkyne in, in the concrete uh, prevents moss growth and mold. So this really cuts down the damage of mold and moss uh, damage on the roof. Um, and they'll, they also resist ice really well because of the regulations that are put on them by the S, AS 46.5 article. Um, they are, they are kind of expensive, but uh, they're kind of expensive. They are $800 per square, um, and the label cost is roughly around $4,075, um, and which would bring the Price to 14, 14.85, but it's but the longevity of the roof and the fact that they're uh, environment friendly and they really cut down the heating and cooling bill of your house. It'll, it'll pay for it'll pay for the price. Uh, it'll pay for itself towards the end. So Matthew, you had a nice presentation. Um, you know, good slides, good a lot of good information. Um, I just don't really think that it's that smart of a decision for us as homeowners, so uh, for that reason, I'm out. And it also makes sense what, that the towers prevent wind damage because they weigh more, but I simply don't think that our structure could handle that, that kind of roof, so for that reason, I'm out. And for me, I absolutely hated your presentation and your slide, but I think the pictures just are not up to standard, and for that reason, I'm out. <laughs> here today to talk to you about an asphalt roof that I want to install on your house. So I know that other people have been coming in pitching new ideas to you and trying to get your bid, but let's go back to the basics. First off, we know that in the new Chauncey neighborhood, you can only have a composite or asphalt roof, so it's already between those two. And asphalt is definitely the way that you want to go. Asphalt is cheaper, it's durable, and it's efficient. So for the cost of the roof, it'll be around $12,000 and asphalt shingles are gonna be your, probably your cheapest one out there. It's gonna be very efficient. So when you get it, when we install it on your house, it's going to last about 20 years before you have to get a new one. And then that'll also help you for your next replacement of your roof. You don't even have to take the shingles off. You can just put another layer over them. Cut. So when it comes to picking your asphalt roof out, there's a lot of variety that comes with it. You can pick the colors. You can have an architectural type shingle that makes it look a little fancier if that's what you're into. But like I said, you can go from any range of colors. Asphalt's gonna come in anything you want from red to brown if that's what you're feeling. When it comes to asphalt shingles, that'll mix well with green construction. So if you're trying to go green, save the earth, I can get behind that. Asphalt is gonna help you out. We have about 
every uh, roof we take away, our company recycles it and we send it to the proper disposal. And after it gets recycled, it gets reused into new asphalt shingles and can help keep the earth clean. Thanks again for your time, Sharks. And like I said, back to the basics, asphalt shingles is the way to go. There's a reason you see it on more houses than you don't. And just again, thanks for your time. I know you're gonna make the right choice and go with asphalt. So, um, I really liked your presentation. Uh, you know, off the top of my head, I can't really think of many reasons that you know we wouldn't go with asphalt. Uh, it actually complies with the uh, West Lafayette Historic Preservation Commission. Um, unlike a couple other people did today. Um, you know, just overall, I think you seem like a really good guy to work with, and uh, um, that lets, what does everybody else have? What do, what do you guys think? Yeah, I would agree. I think it's really cost effective as well. All around, I think it's just a great roof and a great option for this house. Awesome, so uh, sounds like we're in business together. Yeah.